hey my loves welcome back we're just gonna dive right into this video so here are everything we'll be using in styling this hair well not literally let's just say the basics i'll be leaving all their names and their uses on the screen so i'm not behind in explaining what they are used for does that make any sense yeah so let's dive right in so i'm gonna start by spraying in the hydrating spray onto the hair before going in with the leave-in conditioner so to moisturize the hair condition the hair everything good i will massage that into the hair evenly thoroughly and then i'll start brushing out with my detangling brush i'll do that carefully and slowly we are not fighting words so you have to be careful when you're brushing or combing your child's hair okay after that i'll go in with the detangling comb and start sectioning the hair you know so we don't uh, uh, force the comb through the hair that's why i went in with the with the big comb first before the smaller comb and now i am gonna start sectioning the hair with my rack tech comb rack tech comb <laughs> and just watch the process okay yeah yeah i defined the line with the edge control obviously and also with the brush the edge brush brush the hair in so there is no freeze or anything and i'll start conroying i have a detailed tutorial of how to conroll in case you yeah in case you're not really good at conroying you, you might want to check that video out i will link it up right now you're seeing it on the screen right now and also in my description box do check it out but however however you can also watch this <laughs> you know you can also gain a 10 or two with this one but it's not detailed okay this is not a detailed control tutorial just just a process you know just a hairstyle how to style this particular style not basically how to curl <laughs> any who's yeah you're seeing the process you see how i'm sectioning the hair i don't know how i'm gonna explain what i'm doing you're just gonna say it for yourself does that make any sense i'm not braiding out entirely because we're gonna do something which you guys are probably seeing from the thumbnail or not i don't know so yeah i'm doing this see the one at the down is almost like a base of the rest these ones that i'm current that have currently conrolled so far are like sitting on the one at the down like it just gave the base it just gave like you know a foundation of how these ones would be okay and yeah i'm still gonna do something quite different with this one just watch the process okay i'm gonna keep quiet and I like you guys to see what I'm doing. Notice how this one is bigger. Yeah, the next one will kind of be smaller and shorter just somewhere there okay you're just gonna follow through with the process of how i am sectioning these that's the only way you can arrive at this the end result so this one is way smaller the one before that you see how the the the, the pattern was curved at the end i don't know if you guys are noticing that so this one gave like a triangle shape these the one that i just finished with right now gave like a triangle shape so do take note of that so now that i'm done with that part it's time to come over to the front this is like a two-step <laughs> the front and the back but basically it's just like two sides this side and the other side well you shall get me i'm just gonna start with this pattern it's almost like a c or is that an l i don't know it looks like an l or a c whatever you shall i see <laughs> what i'm doing I'm just gonna pat that and then i'll start conroying <laughs> so just watch the process <laughs>
so here is the point where i beg you all to give the video a thumbs up so kindly give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're watching so far give me a thumbs up i would really really appreciate that okay back to the hair we're just gonna continue with the whole curve stage or rather this front part make sure it's curved okay that's the beauty you're just gonna keep you know conraying in the curve pattern all the way or all road leads to the middle <laughs> okay all road leads to the middle so just watch keep on watching don't go nowhere because there's still more to the style So this is the last one on this side and you don't necessarily have to curve here just braid straight even though even though there is like curve <laughs> i don't know how to say that well you're not curving intentionally but the pattern is already curved okay not the middle part like anyways <laughs> see there is something i did here which i consider a mistake because looking at this hair right now is perfect like this but i did something i went on it and i took those two that i just pointed out you see that you see that and i made them equal ah ah i am so pained <laughs> seeing this video right now i'm like why the hell did i do that and to think that when i did it it made sense okay it made sense because i could have like returned it to the original form but it made sense so i just continued my thing i thought it was good but please don't make this mistake make sure that one is bigger like it would give a signature difference to the hair it will make it look spectacularly different <laughs> it will make it look finer trust me don't make my mistake anyways we are almost done at this other side i mean there's no point showing again because i already showed you guys how you know i did the the, the 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 side you guys saw me do and it's the same thing literally so there was no point in showing it again i just had to just you know finish up at this point so i don't bore you guys with a long video and yeah we are very much done or pretty much done with the conroe phase now time for the fun part <laughs> so for the fun part we're gonna be needing braiding extension okay and also also cute colorful robes <laughs> not necessary robes like i don't know if i tell you guys how i got the, the robes that i use you would be amazed so basically robes just colorful not thread because thread is not gonna like be very visible but if you can't get a rope you see that color yeah you see that red tinny in that braiding there yeah that's the rope i'm talking about so let's do this one i'm just gonna take a chunky braid and start braiding onto this place like i said sean this whole um end into three the down part the middle one which i'm currently working on and the last one the front part so i'm gonna add the colorful rope onto this one you see that this one is blue unlike the first one i did off camera which is red so i'm gonna braid all that out it's just to add pop of color nothing spectacular honestly you can skip it left for me i would have skipped it because <laughs> i don't know <laughs> so i'm just gonna braid that out to the end and then we do this yeah yeah i'm just gonna roll that all the way like a bantu knotting see assuming if not that this is like a video i would have left this like this but i just felt like let me just give you guys you know something more in case you want to have this on you want your child to have this on for longer for me left for me this i would have just left it like this because after all i took it out the next day because she there was no way she could take this to school her school wouldn't allow it so left for me i wouldn't have threaded this like i am currently sewing this i'm using needle and thread to sew this onto her um onto the cornrow so it doesn't fall off so it doesn't un unravel you know she's a child any she swing her hair like this without me securing it onto the the the, the hair the cornrow is gonna unravel so that is the reason i'm sewing it so you might be like me and you wouldn't mind and you just keep that part so this is the next part after i've i've um threaded that onto the cornrow i'm just gonna bind the 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 circular thing that i did with a bidder 
okay this picture yeah this thing i'm just like choking it in between the circular whatever this is like a, a koroba hairstyle thingy going on here so i'm you know inserting the beader in between the 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 braids that i did so they don't unlock so they don't unravel i don't know if you guys are getting what i am explaining and i'm using a thread like after i insert the beader i will put a thread on it pull it out just like that like that it's almost like a crocheting something okay hope you guys get me share and yeah that is basically it for that part i did the front one of camera say where i did the last one of camera i just showed you guys the middle one and this is what we have i laid on her edges and guys <laughs> look at my baby girl see how this hairstyle looks so good like oh my goodness it's so beautiful trust me it is it would have been so basic without this thing going on here honestly it would have been so basic if not for this thing this coral button that we just did there and i am absolutely in love can you see that anyways guys let me know what you think what do you think about this hairstyle do you like it would you be regretting it was the tutorial easy did you get everything i did please just me let me know in the comment section do you have any question i will be glad to answer you or leave your comment down below but once again take a good look at this hair ah 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 and they try a big <laughs> Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and see you all in my next one. Bye!